everybody what's going on chaotic here and uh, recently i saw this video pop up on my feed made by techie i actually do follow him and um well i mean well subscribe to him on a different account but Morphe's recent stuff is really really good but this one i found it was just basically him complaining for seven minutes so i took it upon myself to actually make this video and I'm, at the end of this i think i owe my apology because this is like the third time i'm doing a voiceover because I kept on going on rants and like saying how um, sad this actually is because the pay to win options is not even pay to win. It's just it's just really, really bad. But more of that later in the video. Anyway, let's get on into it. Everybody, what's going on? Chaotic here and we are in AOPG today answering a very simple question that actually may be a very controversial one to some people. Is AOPG pay to win? Um, short answer, no it's not. If you want the long answer, either go to the timestamp over here on screen or you can watch out the entire video. The option's yours, I don't really care. It's no surprise to people that uh, I basically build this channel because of AOPG, like showing off how they get certain things and me getting other things. So uh, when I saw that video with Techie, I actually found it like really weird that he just you know, rage at the game so much, and it's a, a, basically a, a thing in the community as well that AOPG is really just pay to win. So uh, I decided to just go through the entire thing and see what I actually found was pay to win and uh, what was basically a scam. And uh, newsflash for you, a lot of this stuff does not even make a difference at uh, late game, to be honest with you, because... Even after you buy this at an early level or at an early stage, you still have to grind up your stats. So you really don't get what you pay for, even if you buy some of this stuff. Like, um, if you buy Conqueror's Hockey, Conqueror's Hockey is based off of uh, your hockey level. So if you've never really upgraded your hockey, Conqueror's Hockey is not going to do much. Or looking at the Devil Fruit Notifier or the Poneglyph Notifier, those you only like you can just look at the surfer age and figure out like from you know how how long you need to wait for a devil fruit or a poneglyph to spawn uh, a devil fruit spawns in anywhere from 45 minutes to one hour a poneglyph spawns in every hour despawns 15 minutes all right there you go you, i basically solved your problem so you don't even have to like use any of those notifiers anymore vip uh I, yeah, it's just like for the name tag, I guess, because it says it multiplies the drop rate by a uh, fourth. So, and most, almost every single item in this game, or like most things you need to unlock, is a 1% chance drop rate. Like most of the swords, uh, all the gear four forms, gear second, I believe, uh, gear fifth is 1%. Yeah, a lot of stuff is like 1%, okay? So, Having a um an increased drop rate by a fourth is literally just one point two five at the end of it, so you know I'm counting I'm adding the zero point two five to the one percent previously by the way, so yeah, coffin boat striker, all that other jazz uh I bought the ice bike for convenience, but do you need it? No because you can just buy boats in game there's literally one that's free, I believe, and there's others that cost like. A couple of hundred belly and belly is not that hard to come by in AOPG as like uh, I'm very I have like what uh, close to a trillion at this point I used to have a trillion and um, fire already has like seven trillion or something insane so we can buy like a lot of devil fruits it won't even cost that much then we have stuff like the swords the swords are very easy there are even raids to do the swords all you need to do is cheese the bosses, and when I say cheese them, get a uh, devil fruit that can use long range attacks. Light V2 is uh, my favorite to do it with, that's what I got the second C with because I kept on cheesing the bosses. Fly around, shoot far away, and just keep on flying, and then bam, you're done. Yoru is a 2% drop rate, I, um, I have done a guide for like new players already. And if you're interested in that video, here it is. But uh, yeah, it took me about 2 hours and 47 minutes total. That's the exact time, I'm pretty sure. That uh, I can, you can get to mid-game with. Why go for any of these other raids and swords when you can just go for your 2% drop rate? Um, cheese the boss, there you go. You might get it. And um, AOPG is kind of generous with the events. So there might be a... Um, 
a times two euro drop rate eventually or something. Who knows? Who knows? Next one up, uh, there's like the daily spins and whatnot. I uh, do whatever heck you want with that one. Nobody cares. The bundles are basically a scam. Like as soon as you reach a second C and you get gems, you can easily get all those things, and you don't have to pay like twenty dollars to get it at all. Right, uh, the world boss, uh, stuff like the world boss, um, literally you can just fly around. The world boss only spawns in third C, I believe, so fly around and you can find them. The map is not that big over there. I've been to second, uh, third C. Pretty sure second C is bigger, but yes, um, stuff like the infinite times two drop rate that's very similar to the VIP, so instead of 1%, it becomes 2%. And that literally costs $35 USD. That is not exactly cheap to get. So don't get that stuff either. That's basically a scam. You're paying like $35 for an extra 1% drop rate. Never get that. Gear 4th, Bounce Man and Snake Man. Let's see about those. Well, here's the thing. Currently at the making of this uh, recording, this voiceover that I'm doing right now, there's a five times gears and if you go to AFK training and just leave your account on for like 24 hours plus, I can probably guarantee that you would have gotten or unlocked one of those forms. Either gear second, gear four, snake man, bounce man, or maybe even gear five. I don't even know yet. So you don't need that. Also, um, gear five is like the most um, garbagey scam thing that I've ever seen. You basically need to pay $45 for the transformation alone. And if you are a new player who wants to get that, well, you can transform, yeah, but you can't use the moves unless you have gems. And the only way to get gems is if you can beat certain mobs, which you can't, unless you, like, sit there for hours and hours, which and no one wants to do. Come on. I'm pretty sure, like, if you bought... If you're a new player and you bought Gear 5 and then you have to unlock the moves for it, which costs you like, I think, close to 30k or somewhere around there. You're, you're paying like, a, a, I think it's like, what, 80 to a, close to 100 bucks, like USD, just to get the form and the gems if you actually are thinking of buying this as a new player, that being Gear 5. So I wouldn't say that's exactly worth it either. And, um, yeah, that's why the only thing, there's, like, two different things that are really good here, right? First of all is the storage, which is something that I absolutely love. And, um, yeah, you can store, like, four different things, which being race, your fighting style, titles, and different devil fruits. So it's basically like a loadout system. With those four different things, you can be pretty OP later on. So, uh, yeah, that's the one thing I would recommend. And the best, like straight up the best thing you can get out of all of these game passes and the main page is not even on a store page. It's one over. You go to servers and you see how it says private servers are only 200 Robux. That is the best thing you can get that you can actually buy like for being paid to win in this game. It's the absolute best thing. You have an entire server to yourself for an entire month. That means like 1st C, 2nd C, and 3rd C, all bosses to yourself. If you leave uh, your account on like for 24 hours or something, you can easily just get a couple of fruits spawned in, in the entire server. You can go around finding them. Done. There you go. Wouldn't even take that long. That is the best thing you can possibly get. But um, yeah, you, you thought that was it, right? Like, no, no. There's some, uh, there's still some other stuff. There is an in-game, like, cash shop that you can go to. That's even worse. First of all, 700 for a Devil Fruit if you try to spin it here, even though it's on sale. And, um, it's not always good fruits that you can get. Revive is really good, yes. But, um, yeah, you can see right at the corner over there, there is, um, a Mara Mara no Mi, a Flame Flame Fruit. Flame is actually not exactly that good. And, um, I know someone who actually spun this thing and they got Suke, so take your chances. Just remember, it's, um, uh, it's just an increase to raid and stuff. That does not mean you're gonna get something really OP. Just saying, just saying. And even if you did get something OP at the very start, you still probably need gems to awaken it. Something like gravity. 
So yeah, double belly, double experience, uh, only 15 minutes. Why is it only 15 minutes? That's going to reach you like nowhere. Double gems, that's basically a scam. Only 15 minutes of um, time, double gems. That's not that long. Anyone who plays this game can tell you that's not that much. Aki color, that's cosmetic. Fruit Note of Fire, we went through that. The race reroll, 75 Robux. That's, uh, no, that's probably a scam because it still gives you the same rates as normal. So, um, yeah, you're going to need a good amount of money. A good, like, maybe like a thousand Robux or something. That's a good amount. And you could probably be guaranteed, like, a really good race if you're lucky. If not, well, uh, your better bet is to use gems. Uh, gems to drop race, drop chances for 15 minutes. And sadly, that cost, that cost basically five bucks USD to get. So again, the same thing as I mentioned in the uh, the game pass section. One percent becomes two percent. Congrats, raid canister. I mean, it's good, but like, again, all you need is a fruit that can cheese the mobs from far away, and then bam. It is a low um. It is a low job chance, but I'd rather you do that than actually spend like 15 bucks on this stupid thing. Spin colors, that's all the cosmetic. Ignore those donations, because if you buy anything in this game for Robux, that's a donation in itself. Never do that. Cash up for uh, gems. This is like one of the few things that's actually really... Like, I wouldn't say it's OP, but, like, considering double gems, which even if you get, like, a super good freed with big AoE on the multiverse area in Goku's area, you can probably grind there, and with that 15 minutes, you'd probably get, like, what? 200, 200 gems, somewhere around there. Maybe 250 to 300, if I'm, maybe if you're generous. But with like, if you just double that for 200 gems, you can buy 500 gems in the store. So um, that uh, double gems does not make no sense. Just do that that way. The storage is like what we went through before with the race storage, support styles, title, and fruit. And then we have the game passes, which is the same thing we uh, went through earlier. So um, this is basically the end of it. And here's the final thing. Is AOPG pay to win? <laughs> No, it's not. It's basically a big scam because, uh, yeah, the things you pay for, you don't actually get them and you can't exactly use them in the first place. Um, yeah, not only that, like, pay the win options isn't gonna carry you far either, mostly because the stat system basically goes off of as long as you constantly use something, it levels up. So, that meaning, like, even if you buy, like, something really OP, yes, you do increase damage, but not much compared to your other peers. The people, like, um, you know, who just started the same as you, and they didn't pay to win. Honestly, like, you're, you're, you're probably just, like, spending your money basically on nothing. Straight up. Just don't buy any game passes other than the, uh, the, the, the storage thing that I told you about. Or the VIP servers. Don't buy anything else. If you have to do pay to win, that's the only two I recommend. Don't get anything else. Because, yeah, as long as you get to uh, this island right over here. This is Marco's Island. As long as you get to here, you're in a comfortable position where you can get a lot of belly. And um, you can buy a lot more fruits. And usually times two uh, belly comes every like month or so. So... Yeah, let's see. And obviously, like, if you reach to this point, you probably uh, have the thing for multiple quests. See, look, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, three million per for Katakuri. So three million multiplied by five, that's 15 million. Is that? Yeah, yeah, that's basically 15 million per uh, per thing right over there. And yeah, and that's Kata Curry right over here. All you need to do is just come on top of either this uh this this tree right over here. Hold on, let me show you. Come right over here, you get a fruit or whatever, you stand the hell, you can go backwards in this thing now, since when? Stand over here, you shoot Marco, you stand on this one, you shoot Kata Curry. Done. That's how you do it. That's how you get a, a good amount of money. You can buy double fruits back at Logtown. 
get yourself something nice, uh, do some raids, head over to second seat, done. If you uh, don't want to do it that way, which is like the hard way, go to AFK training, get your stats up, and then from there, play however you like. So, yeah. Pay to win? No. Scam? Yes. Don't buy any game passes at all. Anyway, I hope everyone liked this type of video of like uh, brutal honesty, even though I absolutely love this game when I built my channel off of it. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and hope no one got overloaded. Take care.